Uh, heads male, tails female. Tails will be a female night elf hunter. Not a druid. Hunter. Alright, name. Boom, boom, boom. Excellent. Exile's reach. Awesome. Alright, let's try it. So Hunter has a ton of advantages for it. And I think it's bar none the best class to play for speedrunning. Okay, here we go. Three, two, wait, one second. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Okay. So the main benefit of Hunter is you could attack from a range, and it's like one of the only classes with range auto attack. Which is also really nice. Arcane Shot also does like a lot of damage for what it is. Okay. We run blind for a couple seconds, but it's fine. Okay, and let's go. Okay. Okay, we're done with shipwreck. Also, kind of show you like, unless they changed how much arcane shot does, arcane shot just like one shots the murlocs. The fights go like super duper quick when you're a hunter. For like no reason too. It just does so much more damage. It's like the only DPS class that do out damages the uh, tank initiate classes. Which is pretty wild if you ask me. So we're doing Night Elf instead of Worgen, because while Worgen gets the 40% uh, movement speed boost, uh, Night Elf just have a passive 5% movement speed increase. So I think it has the best chance to be like the second fastest. And I'm starting to have a uh, reason to believe that maybe the maybe the Worgen racial is not the end all be all of the speed run. But this is why we're doing this test. I'm going to test to see if this hunter could go faster than the Worgen hunter. There are, of course, things outside of our control that are going to apply to that. So, hunter get the other benefit of being able to hit all of these flying creatures. Disengage is pretty sweet for uh, movement tech as well. Okay. Sweet. So the other big benefit that Hunter has is it gets to ignore the fight with Captain Garrick. And that's a huge time save over every single other class. The one downside, downside that they have is they have a taming quest that happens up here instead. But the taming quest is so much faster. So you see these eagles that are in the sky? We're just gonna tame one of those immediately. It's fine. All right, tame a beast. Uh, we're gonna look, we're gonna look. Oh, we're learning tame beast. So it gives us a second to scout. We're gonna go after this one. Cool. We got it right away. That was really good. Really, really good. All right, so the reason we get a hawk is that hawks give us an additional 8% movement speed increase, just passively, because we decided to choose a hawk over any other uh, 
over any other beast. <laughs> So we just get to, uh... God, this is so clean! Gosh. <laughs> so with every other class at this point, I'm running up to start the Quillbore quest. Like, that's the difference right now. It's a huge difference. We have enough time to play with our bars. Now we have even more time to play with our bars. They put revive. Oh, because one of those is supposed to be mend pet. Or mend pet becomes revive pet. Look at this line. We're gonna try to hit this one last. We're gonna try to hit this one first. Or this one. This one. Okay. Oh, that was a. That was a lot of lag for a second. Alright, this one should be the least amount of space it has to move to get to the uh, escort part. Awesome. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me on! Alright. All right, we hit the we hit the bug, but I know how to fix the bug now. We just have to slash reload as soon as we get on, so uh, not a big deal. Oh, I did order, I did order the board to trample. Okay, a bit of a bug, but we're still good. Just die. Just die. Excellent. Let's go check that Mother. I'm sorry. I tried to fight the ogres. So I do remember I hit the end on this one a little bit early on the worgen. I hit it at the wrong time. I want a full situation I'll try my best to help. Yes, mother. Awesome. Are using necromancy to raise a dragon from the dead. We have a mission to accomplish. Good day to you. We'll find that missing expedition. Ah, oh, so good. Alright, let's see what we can find. Alright, alright, alright. I'm feeling it. This is a this is a hunter PB. It's one spot where we have to wait. I wish there was something extra I could do here. Okay. Alright. Perfect. Oh! <laughs> we went a little bit too far on that one. Is there someone dead? 
rip. Oh, wrong button. Okay, awesome. A little bit of collision, but uh, still gave us a bit of a speed increase. Oh, at that point when I'm waiting, I can ask people what they want me to name the bird. That'd be wonderful. What do you want me to name the bird? We're about to come up to a big auto scroller. I'll have a bunch of time to do it. Bird name? Allow me to return the favor. Hop on. Please shield us from harm. I could have been going a little bit faster. I didn't uh, equip the new bow. Out of the way, little spiders. It's okay. It just means that there's a little bit of room for improvement on this run. At least. Any bird names? If not, it's just gonna be a bird of prey forever. By the light, you're alive. Okay. Let me off this thing. You did a good job saving those people and dealing with those spiders. Those spiders were victims too. They just lost their home. Yeah. Oh, we're a little bit off on that line. pretty well. You don't disengage up hills. It doesn't save you any time. Uh, you can only disengage to save time when it's a flat surface or you're going downhill. Which is why I'm not disengaging here. Perfect. Okay. Alright, awesome. Now we have light speed. Oh, someone's already here too. She will be. Come on. Should uh take a glance up towards the escort. Hopefully I go fast enough to catch the person when they're doing the escort. Looks like they took the time to kill everything. Oh, there it is! Oh, if we could get there in time. So this is a priority right now. We want to go tap Bloodbeak because this is going to give us completion of this quest super early. Oh, this is a super PB. Oh my goodness. Oh, 
That was a really risky disengage. Like, it had a chance to not save me any time whatsoever. Oh, I haven't killed any harpies, though, because of that. Alright. So, I have to kill a couple of harpies and a couple of cohorts. But luckily, these uh, wargs count. Wow, this is such a big time save. Okay. We're out. Okay, okay, okay. So now we have Hunter's Mark. That's going to help us do a little bit more damage if I can remember to put it on. It's going to be 5% more damage. We're going downhill so I can disengage for some extra distance. And we're going to have a Hunter Quest to do here. Alright. Hunter's Trap. So we got to get the trap. Got to talk to Merity. All right, and we grab this. We grab this. Okay, we get freezing trap. So we place the freezing trap. Ooh, it's a tiger this time. It was a dog for a worgen. Oh, so it's based on what your race is. It's a different, uh, different pet. So also on this point, I ended the split super early for the worgen. Okay, art of training. I don't know how to dismiss tame, so we have to use dismiss. Okay. Ready to tame the pet. So I should really keep on tame. Okay. Excellent. So that is time on that. Excellent. Got Aspect of the Turtle, really strong defensive. Huh, huh. Okay. Just want to get a little bit of extra speed here, because this is looking super crisp. Alright. Turn me into an ogre. Disengage. I'm not sure if Aspect of the Cheetah stacks with light speed. We changed our gear before the fight, which is also good. Oh, stairs. Oh, you get so much distance on stairs. Looks like I'm alone here too, so this is extra good. I got a loot wug.
Gotta loot this one. Gotta remember to use Hunter's Mark. So it will increase my damage a little bit. So it should make the fights go a little bit faster. But I forgot to do it on that one. Or it didn't take the input. I honestly don't think Hunter's Mark is super worth it. It might not be worth the global. Okay. Destroy the catapult and let's kill this one. Awesome. So we still have three minutes left of light speed. Oh man, we are cruising. Oh, that was a really good disengage too. If I could pat myself on the back. <laughs> that was the exact corner and angle I wanted to hit with that. No! Oh, we didn't loot him. Oh. Chat. Chat, why weren't you there? Why didn't you yell at me? Huh. Oh, we got back before the before it despawned. Oh, barely even punished. Barely even punished. Oh. oh, barely even punished. That was another one point where this run can be improved too. So if we get a PB on this run, which it looks like we're going to, we're way ahead of schedule on the Ogres. We're way ahead of the Worgen line. Like, this has also been like a super crisp run though. Like I've, like I feel like my movement's been very, very good. I've remembered most things. Forgetting that Wardstone is gonna haunt me in my sleep. All right. Now we're on to Dark Mall Citadel. Awesome. All right. I want to make sure she attacks the first one. Okay. I have another instance of seeing the bug. Another like possibility here. Let's see if it uh, shows itself. We've almost cleared the room. Keep pushing. Compared to how much damage my rogue was doing, do you see this difference? This difference is insane. Like these things are dying so fast. Let's see if I could get the necklace. Didn't find the necklace, it's fine. Destroyed. I might get the aggro of this second one. Make sure I'm gonna put myself against this wall. I'm just gonna steady shot to finish this off because I want some uh, focus before the boss. Okay. Ooh, we miss all the RP too. All right, so. Hopefully, skipping the RP did not uh, bug them out. Never. 
All right, this should also give me a new bow. Awesome, they didn't even get bugged. Also remember how I was like popping off that <laughs> a lightning bolt was doing 40 damage? Arcane Shot's doing 30 damage. Arcane Shot doesn't have a cast time. One last shot at the necklace. We didn't get it. It's fine. Uh, I just realized they're not in my party right now. And that got me uh, concerned for a second. Okay. Excellent. Time to get focus back. All right. Oh, it's going to be close. Make sure our hunters mark at the start here. Come on, Ravnir. I need you to die. Oh, we did it. Perfect. Oh, we're so close. Time! 27-28. PV hype. And that was with a big mistake, too. We forgot to go loot that rune. That dumb mistake that I keep making. Wow. Alright. That feels so good. So, so good. So... Is the Night Elf better than the Worgen? Or was my movement just like... Plus? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. So I did definitely have run knowledge on this one. But like... This saved the dude time. I ended early on the Worgen run because I got excited. This branching paths, I ended early on the Worgen because I didn't know I had another quest up. It does require additional testing, for sure. The passive 5% right now, like right now this Night Elf Hunter is looking like super clutch. I think this is new by the way, like this cutscene here. The races of the Alliance convene in Stormwind on matters of trade and diplomacy. Their age-old enemy, the Savage Horde, poses an ever-present threat. But no matter the challenge, the soldiers of Stormwind stand ready to face it. As one of the ancient and elusive Night Elves, you have ventured forth from the sacred forests to aid your allies and protect the wilds. Azeroth faces countless threats. Bold heroes are needed to rise up and defend her. 
for the Alliance. That's kind of cool. I, I like that new opening. 